welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I think this food is giving you guys a lot of energy, man. Each year, Dance Papers puts on the foodie event of the summer. And as part of that culinary celebration, on the first day, Hampton chefs and New York City chefs compete to see who has the best skills on the grill at Grill Hampton. As the competitors prep, we go on the red carpet to catch up with beefy celebrity chef and host of Grill Hampton, Robert Irvine. What an amazing event every year. And this is my second year, right? So. I made the effort to come in. I'm leaving for England at 3 o'clock in the morning. I flew in to do this because it means so much to me. So I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to drink, and I'm ready to judge. So they better bring it. In past competitions, this grilling event has been a meat lover's dream. But this year, the organizers added a twist. Seafood which is not easy to grill. Seafood is so delicate, right? So you have to be very careful. Barbecue is, is no matter whether you use a dry rub or use a, a, a sauce, it's very tangy, it's very spicy, and fish, you have to balance that really well. Those fish is too delicate. So, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how they do that. You know, if you put too much spice on, you can't taste the fish. If you put not enough on, then it's too fishy. You know, it's kind of, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And what do these celebs like to grill? Um, I have to say, like, especially at this time of year, uh, lobsters. You know, like, you just cut them open and put them on the grill and then throw a couple of ears of corn and some tomatoes and all that kind of stuff on there. Delicious. I don't cook at all, which is why I'm here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm here for the food, like, really. I do not cook at all. I don't even, it's funny, my husband Josh today barbecued some um, steak for lunch and I never turned a barbecue on, I'm 38, and I think I'm gonna stick to it. I think I, why bother when I can come to an event like this? One of the judges is the Food Network's Mark Murphy, who serves up some grilling tips. When you're doing grilling, sometimes you gotta make sure the grill is hot enough, make sure the, the grill marks, cause you know, you get the sear, the, the sear, it's very important to get that nice, uh, that sort of like, that charred flavor. So whatever you're doing, you got to make sure your grill's really hot and you got a nice, uh, a nice sear on your meat. Dan's Papers founder, Dan Ratner, is also one of the judges. And this year, he will be employing a different tasting technique. Uh, I'm going to be wearing a mask on my eyes. I'm just going to do the taste. One taste, I'm not going to look at anything. It's just going to go purely on the taste buds. You know, because if I look at it, I just eat it all. And that's bad because there's 12 of them, I think, at least. Listen, I'm just, my, my strategy is eat everything. Wash it down with a beer and somebody's going to win, right? Go. But is it going to be the Hamptons or is it going to be New York? That's the question. I, well, you know, I know you're, you may be biased on this answer. I am. Who's going to take it? The Hamptons. Oh, I'm, I'm out there. I don't know. I am just going to, to eat and keep an open mind and an open stomach. I think I'm kind of partial to the city. <laughs> Sorry, Hampton. Let's be clear, both of these groups cater to the same people. <laughs> it's all the same group. We're all the same people that come here on the weekends and whatnot. So, no, I think I think they're both kind of really amazing, and I think it's a really, really tight competition. Uh, I like, I, I, it's hard to beat New York, man. New York, just the New York City chefs are used to dealing with the most demanding customers. So. I have to say though, the Hamptons chefs usually pull off some sort of a miracle. 